Alright then, so hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI LLG Blindfold. It's time to take on the Doom Train, and I'm not going to do it the lame way, considering it's, like, you know, right next to the start of a segment. So that would just be incredibly boring. Um, the, the thing is, uh, this kind of mostly just comes down to luck anyway, but... Yeah, great, uh... Optimize his equipment with what exactly the stuff he already just had on. All right, so I'm I'm just gonna cut that at like I'm just gonna add that onto the top of the segment. So I'll I'll leave that done. Gonna keep trying, eventually I'll get it. Well, that wasn't a very good start. And again, it's more important what happens on Doom Train than what happens against these bombs. Alright, now I'm just gonna hope it's Sabin. I should really fix this. At least it usually is Sabin. Actually, I think it will almost always be Sabin because this is a back attack, which actually kind of helps me here a little bit. It still hurts me, but I mean, a back attack is a back attack. It's a bad thing, so... Then again, speed doesn't matter as much in this game as it does in Brave New World, so... Ah, Acid Rain. Shadow lived? Maybe it missed him. Because he really shouldn't have lived that. I'm out of shuriken, so let's check this Mithril Pike. Yeah, he lived. Ironically, the only character who's really meant to survive one of these uh, acid rains is the one who died. Nice, I got him. Just as I ran out of things that I want knew where I wanted to throw it. I mean, yeah, that made sense. When I heard the acid rain, I wasn't expecting that to go through, but apparently it did. The funny thing is, I never actually planned out the rest of the segment. I hope uh, that I'm right in thinking that I end up on the overworld without having to do anything important. So I'm pretty sure the cutscene, like, the timed event just ends without me doing anything, and... Sabin probably died to that wheel too, so it's probably just Shadow sitting there like a boss. Having Ninja evaded that acid rain with like probably 2% magic block.
Goodbye, people I can't see. So I didn't get to see you for the last time, and I don't get to see you at all. Now I just get to sit here and eat my tasty, tasty chocolate. Alright then, so we're out of here. Should still be an item? And that's the game. To be honest, it probably is worth it, because I need like, every bit of HP I can get for this battle, but... Resets are quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I got wheeled, that's good. I'm not using a bolt. that's bad. What? I... I'm getting a noise for Cyan too. That's weird. That's not supposed to be happening. Doesn't make a difference here, but... At least not this turn. That's gonna mess me up later. The best thing that could possibly happen is the Interceptor. He'd probably just halfway win the battle for me right away. Alright, so I'm out of shurikens. Not like it matters, because Shadow just died. And I'll wait for... Science should be alive. Okay, seizure death. A couple turns with the menu trick in this fight, but... Yeah, I'm keeping lucky that Seven shows up before Cyan does, because my player 2 on Cyan's gone now for some reason. Maybe Seven will get his attack off first? Nice. Alright, now here's where it gets luck reliant. Dang it, that's a drain. Oh, whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Nah, I'm dead. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure why the cursor was still on relic at that time. I did a legitimate hard reset. And I must have flipped the switches wrong.